again, could do everything, could pass, could shoot, could cross, could take free kicks inside, outside, every technique in, in, in that, that you could ever wish for, really. Um, say no more. Yeah. So, if I was going to say right foot, who would you choose? Uh, right foot, I'd have to be Scalzi. I have to be Paul Scholes, um, yeah. genius, genius for the football, um, and he could do everything. You know, he could, he can pass it over a distance. He can play little clever ones around corners. He can shoot, um, pretty much a full package. So yeah, I've got to go Scholes for that for that wonder of right foot. Nice. I had him a bit further down the list. So you might mention him again. But what, what, what about Rooney on that right foot? He must be up there. I know that that's, I could go on all day, couldn't I? That's the thing, <laughs> but. Um, yeah, and no, it's not easy to pick Scolzi, but Scolzi was my, my, my favourite to, to play alongside. So, um, yeah, a nice little partnership going in midfield. So I've seen him close up every single day. So it was, um, was I was a little bit further up the pitch, so I'm, I'm <laughs> just giving it to Scolzi, but it's not easy. I can imagine. Right, OK. I mean, this one's no easier. Left foot. <laughs> Left foot, I'll have to go Giggsy. I'd have to go Giggsy, I think, for left foot. Um, not just his left foot, but it's, it's Giggsy, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, again, could do everything. Could pass, could shoot, could cross, could take free kicks inside, outside, every technique in, in, in uh, that you could ever wish for, really. Um, say no more, yeah. Giggsy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, well, yeah, Giggsy, Giggsy's the obvious, obvious one, isn't he? Yeah. I, I had Van, per Van Persie. Yeah, to be honest, it's a good shout, yeah. It's a good shout. Um, different, different, different kinds of players. Obviously, Van Persie's more the, the get the ball, bang it, absolute rocket. Whereas Giggsy sort of yeah, like you say, goes left, goes right, inside, outside. Yeah, I think Giggsy had had the, the full package of variety of scoring, passing, crossing, everything. So special player. Brilliant. Um, every one of these is going to be difficult. To be fair, heading ability. Heading's not an easy one. It depends kind of what you're after, I suppose. Heading, if you're defensive heading, you're going Vidic. You're going Vida yeah. all, all, all day long in terms of defending a box, um, putting his body on the line and being able to head a ball. Uh, best, I've, best I've seen. Um, incredible. In terms of scoring goals, I'd probably say Cristiano. Um, the, his leap, his timing, um, power. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a tough one. So attacking wise, I'd say Cristiano. Defensively, I'd say Vida. Yeah, I, I had them two on the list. Too. I think the the Ronaldo one that sticks sticks in my mind was it was it Roma, where Roma, he comes yeah. comes from like yeah, yeah. thirty yards back and just ends up yeah, incredible, unreal goal. Yeah, yeah. brilliant. Um, next one, I mean, we just mentioned him. He's got to be up there. Skills. Skills. Um... Skills, skills, skills. Yeah, I think Cristiano, Cristiano probably t tops that one. Nani, Nani had um, incredible ability, skills-wise. Could go past anyone from a standing start. Just had um, both left foot, right foot. On on his day, he was literally as as, as, as good as anyone. Nani, um, Cristiano, obviously over a longer period, and, and especially in his in his earlier days, I think. Um, maybe not so much as, as he's got older, he's turned into a pure goal scorer, but certainly in his early days when, when he was there, he, uh, his skills and ability and just natural kind of yeah, athleticism with the ball was was, uh, was scary. I had, a, I had another one there who wasn't a United player. He broke through with him at West Ham. I had Joe Cole. Especially yeah, back actually, in the early Cole was a good shout. When I was when I was, I've known Cole since we played together at first when I was thirteen, and I've yet to see anyone at that age do what he was doing. And um, yeah, in terms of yeah, that to be fair, that's a good shout. I hadn't really thought about Cole, <laughs> but yeah, I think Ronnie Ronnie tops it. But certainly, yeah. is, is is that what he was doing on a pitch at them ages was was crazy. Nice um, fitness. Fitness, fitness, fitness. I mean, that's, that's that's a difficult one. I mean, everyone's got to be fit these days. Yeah, Fletch could Fletcher would run all day. Dan Fletcher would run would would run all day. Um, terrific footballer as well, actually. But um, in terms of having the engine um, to 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 make the box to defend, uh, lamps actually. You know, lamps 
where in terms of how we played and kept making the box and kept making the boxing would always be it was a nightmare to play against because he would just keep getting in there keep, where some players you play against um, obviously I played with him an awful lot as well at West Ham in England but playing against him he would just he'd constantly be running in a box and for that one time you didn't run back with him he'd, he'd, he'd get his chance so uh, he had he had a hell of an engine on him uh, he worked a lot at it as well but he um, had a hell, hell of an engine and, a, and a more of a desire actually to keep getting in the box and, and, and running so um, yeah, yeah. Fletch, was, Fletch was similar nice um, football in brain um, so hard to choose really I've been fortunate enough to play with some uh, incredible players um, again Scolzi comes to mind um is, is, is probably the obvious one for me going back to Wayne as well I think Wayne's football intelligence and his brain and how he sees space and finds space um, just had a natural gift both of them to in, in doing that and um, almost playing and toying with the opposition a little bit you know and kind of two or three steps ahead of what they want to do um, yeah it's tough to, tough to separate them really nice and then and then finally attitude I mean that, that that can mean a lot of things, but um, yeah, in terms of like winning mentality, the attitude to go out there, always win, put in the best, put in the best performance. Yeah, again, I was fortunate enough, you know, coming in, especially into the United team, um, they were just they were, they were natural winners, you know. They had they had been winning long before I, the time I had got there, and, and they were used to it, and that's just how they lived their life. And um, the one that probably stands out because I think he maximised everything he had was Gary Neville. Um, and he was the one that would always drive it every day between the players and the group and the culture and um, he epitomised kind of what the boss stood for really you know and that had came all the way through so he was almost like the boss's right hand or right arm and, and um, but yeah again it's fortunate enough gigs and skulls in Rio Edwin van der Sar you know coming through with, with, with those type of players and seeing them work every day and, um, they were all winners in, in their own way, but Gaz was the one that was probably the most vocal and was driving him. Yeah. And he was the captain at the time. Yeah, especially that, that 2018 year in. I mean, it's full of them, isn't it? Every single one. Yeah, yeah fortunately, yeah. you know, sometimes you get it in, 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 in time. Time is everything as well. You know, you you, you can be um, you can be a terrific player, but maybe just in the wrong place at the wrong time or the wrong wrong um, um, yeah wrong, wrong time for a certain team, but. Luckily enough for me, I kind of I've, I've hit that way that them boys that we just spoke about, they're they're all there and all all in and around the peak still, which which is um, which makes a difference and the timing of just it all came together quite nice.